What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. In honor of the 2024 Olympics, I'm giving my Barbie the Movie doll a quick reroute because I thought it would be fun to look through our dolls and make a few inspired looks. Let's jump right in and get started. Back to the reroute. I thought I should just go ahead and knock this out before I paint my nails. And this is a doll that I have more than one of because I wanted her lovely little jumpsuit. You know the drill. First, we remove the hair, paint the scalp, let it dry, then add new hair. Once finished, I add a little fabric glue and allow it to dry according to the instructions. While waiting, I started adding some light brown hair to this doll I found in one of my doll boxes. I want to say this was a Playline Holiday Barbie. She does have some red earrings, but I'm not 100% certain. After adding my highlights, give her hair a hot water rinse. I gave our other reroute a hot water rinse as well. Now let's give her a new body. Let's try the made to move Barbie volleyball player. That looks like a pretty close match. Into the bag, into hot water to soften the head so we can easily remove it. Then add the new head, give her a little haircut. Let's change the eye color just a little. And let's add a few light freckles as well. Let's shorten the sleeves on the shirt and hem them to make a doll inspired by the 5'10 rugby player, Alona Mar. I also thought about using the Barbie articulated superhero body, like the one that comes with the Billie Jean King doll, but we would lose some articulation at the upper arm, chest, upper thigh, and ankle. I also thought about using WWE superstars, but again, we would lose articulation, and for me, availability is an issue. I can easily find the Barbie volleyball player at stores like Target for around $15. The other two might take a little more time to find online. But I just know me, articulation is very important, so I prefer the made to move body. Where our options are tall, the athletic Brooklyn, curvy, classic, and petite. So let's take the holiday Barbie that we gave a few highlights and give her the Brooklyn athletic body. I lightly curl those highlights with a curling iron on a low temp, helping them to just blend in with the rest of the hair a little. Her eyes look kind of purple to me, so let's paint them brown, add a rubber band to use as a headband, and the Brooklyn body comes with athletic clothes. But I'm going to switch her top to this pink one and give her the shorts from the Barbie Dolphin Magic movie. Let's use some jewelry eye pins to make earrings. Using pliers, I open the loop a little. Then we can use the pliers to bend it to the side to make simple small hoops. For a quick mini makeover, to make a doll inspired by the track and field athlete, Gabby Thomas. Since we only added highlights instead of doing a full reroute, this mini makeover was a lot faster and easier, which I love. But the Olympians that these dolls were inspired by are no strangers to hard work. So let's make a quick backdrop where they can work out. Let's use foam board to make one of our wall boxes. I cut a 15 by 13 inch rectangle. I cut 13 by 3 inch rectangles for the sides. And for the bottom of the box, I'm cutting a 3 inch by 14 and 6 eighths of an inch rectangle. Then I cut another 13 by 15 inch rectangle for the back of our box. Now that we have all the pieces, we can begin gluing it together. I start by gluing the sides onto the back wall, then the bottom, then glue on the other wall to make the box that we can use to store our dolls and accessories. On the outside of the box, I printed off a little inspiration for the back wall, totally inspired by my local gym. Let's trim off the white border and glue it onto the box. I wanted to put a mirror on this side, but 
I thought I had more mirrored tiles, but this is all I have left. So I cut half inch strips of foam board, glued down a yellow piece of paper. I printed mine so my yellows would match and I added a doorknob. Glue the white strips around it. Let's add a little piece of silver contact paper to the bottom since our paper is short to make a door. Let's make a second box. Only this time, we're gonna leave one side open. I made another printable to glue on the wall. Let's add a smaller storage area on one side. Close it off with another board with a door, giving us an extra space to store a doll or two. Let's add a little plastic mirror. These are mirror sticky tiles that I bought on Amazon. They are super reflective once I remove the film. But first, let's take leftover foam board and add a few shelves. I cut one of my shelves at one and a half and the other at one inch. And let's add a half inch piece to the bottom to stop things from rolling forward. Like small exercise balls. These are actually for ball pits. They come in a lot of different colors and they're very lightweight. Now let's add the last side to give us two walls for our gym. Since the doors are so close together, I just put a small piece of foam board between them for a little space. Now we can add a few accessories like Barbie hand weights, boxing gloves, and water bottles. Lay down craft foam or poster board for a floor. Ooh, and I found my Barbie yoga mat. Giving the dolls a place where they can train all year round. And now I have lots of storage for some of my doll accessories. We can also add the mini lockers from the Five Below Zoe dolls. So they have a place to store their car keys while they're working out. If you have any mini brands or mini fashion lying around, after you open them up to see your new mini. This one's from series two. And we got a bag. It's totally a double. But we can use the capsule as a larger exercise ball or fitness ball for this space. Now that we have a gym, we could totally use a few more members. We can take the 2022 Holiday Barbie and the Petite Barbie Looks number seven, do a little head swap, make the eyes a darker brown, make the lips a little more neutral, pick out something sparkly to wear, for a quick mini makeover to make a doll inspired by the gymnast Simone Biles. And we can use Barbie Fashionista number 199 and the Petite Barbie Looks Doll 22 to make an inspired doll of the gymnast Suni Lee. I love doing mini makeovers because I bring out dolls that I haven't used in a while. Give them a new look and then it feels like you have a brand new doll. Using stuff you already have. Thank you for joining us while we made a few Olympian inspired dolls and a gym. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.